truck driving is a pretty sweet gig. It's, it's, it's amazing. But is it the end-all, be-all of delivery? On well, today's video, we're going to find out which is better. Truck driving? Or driving for Uber and DoorDash? I'm going to put both through the test today. Starting off here in Largo, Florida. Bright and early in the morning. Well, not bright. But early. Welcome everybody to another video. This one here is going to be a little bit different than what I normally do. I am going to be comparing two different types of delivery. I'm just basically a lifelong delivery person. For 30 years I've been delivering goods from warehouses, from shippers to receivers, and anything in between. Well, they, I guess they've all been shippers and receivers. Just different types. And uh, things are very similar when you're driving Uber or DoorDash to truck driving. Except when you're truck driving, you got a computer on your dash. You have to type in, okay, I arrived at the shipper. And then when you get your load, you have to put in loaded, leaving. Then when you get to your final destination, you have to type in on the computer, arrived at destination and then when you're done delivering completed delivery it's very similar to DoorDash and Uber except you don't have a computer on the dash of your car I mean you may I don't I don't have one and I that's where my phone comes in the phone replaces the computer that is in your truck pretty much does the same stuff though you have to do basically the same exact things just on a different device. Don't know what the temperature is supposed to be on the reefer, but this is this is the device we use in the truck. This is called a Qualcomm. Just basically, it's kind of a tablet. It just mounts. You can take it off. A lot larger than a phone, but not much. And actually, not as responsive of a touch screen. See what I mean? See? There we go. Huh. Double tapped. Double tapped. Well, I'm going to go ahead and pick this load up, and then I'm going to take it to Wildwood, Florida, where I live, and drop it there, and then hop into my personal vehicle and start an afternoon, a lunchtime, delivering Uber and DoorDash in my local area, which is the Villages, Florida. I'm going to be doing it a lot this weekend before New Year's. Not only in the villages, Florida, where I live, but also in Orlando, Kissimmee area. Kind of compare the two money-wise. I'm going to see if I can generate enough revenue working like three hours a day driving my car compared to 14 hours a day driving my truck. Break it down. Kind of get an idea how much I make an hour delivering, you know, for two or three hours of DoorDash and Uber compared to two or three hours what I make hourly driving truck. It's gonna acquire it's gonna acquire a little bit of math, which I'm not very good at, but it should be fun. So tag along with me. Let, let's do this. Okay. This is not my truck. This is my car and I have to get some fuel in it real fast. Let that go for about five minutes and I shall chat with you. So out of the truck, I worked for two hours today. I went from Largo, Florida up here to Wildwood, Florida. I probably made about 60 bucks. That was about it. So I am going to charge up here. It's going to take me about five minutes. I'm on a quick charge. So I'm going to chat and mow this sucker up real fast and I'm going to get out there at 4 p.m. Maybe five. I don't know. Five o'clock dinner rush, five, six, seven, work from five to seven and see how much money I can make. I'm going to use two apps. I'm going to use Uber Eats and DoorDash, kind of play between the two because I am in the villages, Florida. I don't know what works better in this area. I'm going to run both at the same time, see which one gives me some decent offers, go make some money 
and uh, see about how much I make an hour in two hours. I'm, so if I make like 50 bucks, I know I made 25 bucks an hour. If I make like 75 bucks, I made more than that. If I make 100 bucks in two hours, that's some decent money. That's truck driving money right there. Now, the difference is between truck and my car, I have to use my car, which is actually more comfortable. I, Even though my truck is like an RV inside and I have all the amenities at home, there's just something nice about sitting behind the wheel of your own car and working. It's just comfy. And charging my, or not charging my truck, but fueling in my truck with diesel takes quite a bit. It usually takes me about 15 minutes because I'm putting fuel in, running inside, going bathroom, grabbing a coffee. I'm not running inside to go in bathroom. Don't have to quite yet, but this should take me about five minutes. And uh, so this is, get, charging my car is faster than fueling my truck. That's all. Well, I got, I got big tanks in my truck. Well, we are done. Let's get out of here. Go get a cold drink and get staged up and see if anybody is uh, planning to eat. I wish I would have just recorded this MAGA guy that just walked up to me. Had a little conversation. Should have recorded that. Mm. Little kids hamburgers. They're my favorite. Okay, so I was feeling up. It took about 10 minutes. And I was at a 30% battery. And I went ahead and put it up to 97% or something. And this older gentleman comes walking up to my door. He goes, don't mind me being nosy. And I said, no, what's up? And he goes, I'm just curious. How much does it cost to charge your, to do this? And I said, it's free. It doesn't cost anything. It's free. It's a Shell gas station put these pumps in everywhere. And they're all free, just like charge points. And he goes, well, someone's got to pay for it. He goes, Duke Energy ain't doing it for free. And I said, well, I don't know how, I don't know if Duke Energy builds these things and Shell operates them. I don't know what their deal is, but, it, you know, it's all goes to the solar farms. And he goes, well... What I don't like about it is, call me old fashioned, when they suck power from the grid, and I said, well, it's a smart grid, it's a totally different grid, right? I was kind of blown his mind. I said, the grid you're talking about is like 150 years old. You know, this is a whole new grid. Now it can feed from the sun can feed back into the grid if need be, I guess. I don't know, some places, I know you're home. But I said, most all it's free. I said, uh, yeah, it's doesn't cost anything. It was, well, what another thing, and he kept coming up with all these excuses why he couldn't go electric. Well, it's putting my coal, I'm from Ohio, and it's putting my coal miner friends out of business. When, and things shouldn't be free. Maybe the political landscape will change back to normal again where people have to pay. Hey, man, if that's what you believe, awesome. I like free. I mean, don't get me wrong. I know... Things aren't all free. All the charging stations aren't free because I paid before. I think I spent like a dollar sixty, you know, since I've had the car for almost two thousand five hundred miles. So I know they're not all free. The church, you know, the Turnpike. There's companies like Charge Point or Charge Point, and the ones I use are free. And even a lot of the Shell gas station ones. But there is, you know, EV Go and all these other companies. They they uh, they do charge. I don't know how much a kilowatt hour is or something like that when they charge. I've seen YouTube videos where you know, six bucks, five bucks or something like that. And, you know, and I get it. I, I, but just for me, he was asking me what I pay. I usually hit the free ones. You know, sometimes if I'm in Orlando or something like that. Like I said, I've spent a dollar sixty at Disney property before. That wasn't fun. It is definitely hard explaining to people, especially the old timers, exactly what's going on. Uh, anyway, let's uh, get this show on the road. So I am going to try something new. I'm going to fire up DoorDash. We're going to fire up DoorDash and uh, let's go to 530. We will dash until 530. Do you have enough gas? Yes. Is my phone charged? Yes. Uh, let's start dashing. Let's see what kind of offers we get. I'm not going to...
turn Uber on yet because usually usually DoorDash fires right away. It looks like the hot spot is up here though. But we'll see. I figured I'd stop in here at McDonald's and uh, see if some offers start popping up. Once they do, uh, I'll show you what I'm choosing. You know what? It is my second day doing this. I, I think I could double lap it. So let's open up Uber at the same time, shall we? It's loading. Uh, you're offline. Not anymore. Let's see if we got any Uber stuff going. So I will run two apps. Looks like we got something here on DoorDash. Jersey Mike's. Um, oh, that's a busy hot zone right now, Jersey Mike's. I'm not going to head over there. Let's wait and see what pops up. So it is kind of like truck driving in a way. I'm just waiting for a warehouse to send me an order, basically. Except a where instead of a warehouse, it's a restaurant. And then once I, they're like my broker. And then, uh, or I guess Uber and DoorDash are like a broker. And then the warehouse would be like the restaurants or Walmart or whatever. Then I say, okay, yeah, I'll take that load. And I go pick it up and I deliver it to the customer, which is another warehouse usually in truck driving. So it all works out about the same. So we got our first one. It's for $13.49 for 35 minutes. It's 17 total miles. Uh, yeah, I think I'm not going to, I think I'm not going to do that one. It's a uh, 13 mile or $13 for $17. If I had a gas car, that would suck. Head to your pickup at Pop oh, I accidentally did it. SDRT. Oh my God. 44. Oh, I did not want to do that. The screen was going black. All right. Well, it looks like I'm doing a $13 load. Okay, it is now 27 minutes later. I have earned a total of $23 and 27 minutes. So, because I, so it's been, I don't know what that equals out to. If I could get another one or two runs in, I figure, and I should be within this hour I should make about $45 an hour and if I keep it up for the next three hours $45 an hour that's definitely more than I make truck driving Definitely. okay I'm gonna sit here and watch the screen and try and get out of here what I think I'm gonna start doing is coming back to this place this is the UF Health University of Florida Center they have a free charger right here and if I can keep in this local area and in between while I'm waiting for my next pickup just plug in, keep my engine fully charged all the time. Or not my engine, but my batteries. That should be pretty nice. Keep a constant charge, not worrying about losing any battery, and just delivering loads and coming back here. This is gonna be my this is gonna be my safe, my home base, I think. So I'm going to I got about 30 minutes or so. And uh, to see what my first hour will be like. Not too bad so far, 23, uh, that's $23 I have generated in about 23 minutes. I, bet I made about a dollar a minute. Not bad. Man, Ooh. did it get dark fast? Where's the, oh, oh. it's stuck that Duncan put the sippy there. All right, I am done. One hour, 54 minutes. Uh, okay, I made $63 in one hour and 54 minutes. Not exactly sure what that comes to the hour. It's what it's over 25 bucks an hour right around there. Okay, so I drove a total of 18 miles in total. Made six, what was it? $63 and 40 cents. That's what it was. Uh, using two apps, Uber and DoorDash. It was fairly simple, delivered a pizza, delivered some Popeye's chicken, delivered a Taco Bell, delivered a McDonald's. It was, it was pretty smooth. Uh, I think, okay, so if I drive 60 miles an hour in my truck in two hours, that's 120 miles, but in one hour and 50 minutes, it's probably like 105, 110. Uh, I don't know how much I make by the hour, I, I mean, I don't know how much I make by the mile tri driving truck. I never paid attention, never asked how much I make. Um, I don't know if I make upwards to almost $70 every hour and a half. I don't know if I make over $25 or $30 an hour driving truck. But 
It is definitely a lot more relaxing in your car. You get a stop. Mm. Get some Dunkin' goodness if you want to. And it's a heck of a lot easier getting into restaurants and places in your car rather than in a large truck, you know, in a tractor trailer. I can get in pretty much anywhere I want to, plus I drive a really small car. Zero expenses today. I charged twice just to keep it topped off, you know, uh, while I was over there waiting for that pizza. You know, I, that, that's, my, that's my stationary place. So I can go out and deliver, come back, park right there, plug in, and watch my phone waiting to get another load. When another load comes in, I'll plug my car, go do that load and stuff like that, and that way my car always stays full. I don't have to worry about anything. So uh, zero expenses. Um, yeah, I, I, I think if you're a nomad, DoorDash and Uber is the way to go. You can, if you put in, if I could do 25 to $30 an hour for eight hours a day, that's right up there with truck driving, you know? That's, that's, that's pretty good money, you know? And if you have a car that's really, really good on gas, like a hybrid, like a Prius or something like that, or you deliver on a motorcycle or a scooter or an electric bicycle like I got over here because you, you can deliver food on an electric bicycle. Um, yeah, I, you know, keeping that cost low and profit high. Yeah, living full time in an RV, doing that. Yeah, I, I, I can see. Steph stuck in a truck and myself were talking, you know, like say you did it as a team, like team truck driving and stuff like that. If you did it, if you could make $4,000 $4, a month, if you, if you can make $1,000 in a five-day period, you know, do $200 a day, two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, it's five, that's a thousand bucks. If you make, if you just stick with two or two hundred dollars a day, you know, six hours, you pull a six hour day, six, you know, five days a week. If two people did that, that's eight thousand dollars a month. You know, if you have someone you can trust, a good friend, stuff like that, that you're going to combine stuff with, you could do it. But even if you're just flying solo, four thousand dollars a month, definitely enough to cover a car payment, car insurance. Starlink, internet, you know, Verizon, T-Mobile, whatever you have, cell phone, and probably tons of food and still put money away for that vacation you want to go on. Not that life isn't like a vacation anyway when you live in an RV, right? Anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. Final thoughts, truck driving versus DoorDash, Uber. They call it the gig economy, gig jobs. Um, yeah. Yeah. You're an independent contractor. Do it. I think I can, you know, I've been driving truck for 30 years. That I think that's the next step right there. I think that's the next step. Chilling out at the campgrounds, going to work when you want. It's you make about the same amount of money. It's not bad. Anyway, until the next time, thanks guys for tuning in. I'm going to go ahead and get dressed into some normal clothes because it's going to be a busy next couple of days. I'm still going to be working doing this to see how much I could do in a three-day period, you know, where I just want to work two hours a day doing that. See what I could do two hours a day for three days between here in Wildwood and Orlando Disney area. And uh, also New Year's Eve is tomorrow night. So I'm going to be heading over to Margaritaville enjoying that. Hope you guys tune into those videos and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.